Well, this may be the moment you've been waiting for. Let's get into drawings in Alibre. This is how to make a 2D drawing from the 3D models and assemblies that we've been working on so far. So we're going back to the chair that we've made before. Let's make drawings out of our chairs, parts, and assemblies. First, how do we generate a drawing? Well, as long as I have my part or assembly saved, one way to get to the drawing environment is to click on Send To. And I'll click on Make Drawing of this design. From here, we're given several options. What drawing standard do we want? And there we've got uh, several to choose from. I'm gonna go with ANSI. And then we can choose our sheet size. Do we want uh, size A and landscape? Do we want size B and so on? I'll go with size B. You'll notice we even have a format for subsequent sheets, but of course I want my regular ANSI B. We can choose our default scale if we want that to be different, but the scale will be automatic when we import it into the drawing. And I'll say OK. From our date, I can put in a date if I'd like. I can put in who drew it and I can put in a drawing number. From here, you can see that our drawing was created for us. It has our drawing number and the date and who drew it and everything pre-populated. And uh, we also can make our views from this menu. This menu has many options. First off, it has the location of our design, which we can browse if we'd like to change it. If there are configurations that we've made, we can change the configuration here. And we can show either the default view or the exploded view that we've made. I'll go with default. Now here we have the top, front, and right views pre-selected to insert. But you may see that that might not be the front view that I want to go with. So I can use these arrows to change the front view. I can also rotate my model this way to establish my front view. And I can use these arrows to rotate my view 90 degrees. So I can rotate this model on all three axes. I'll click to add an isometric view as well. Now we can also show a standard view, draft view, or shaded view. These are good examples of what it would look like on the drawing. Of course, I'll go with standard. Alibre estimates that our best scale is a 1 to 15, and I'm inclined to agree but you can change your import scale here if you would like to go with something different. You can always rescale it in the drawing environment as well. These are the main options that we have, but we also have more options over here. We can add whole callouts automatically, cosmetic threads, center marks and center lines. I think center marks are a great thing to have as well. And if we were working in sheet metal or exploded views, we would have part trails for exploded views, Bend center lines and project this flat pattern as a sheet metal option as well. I'll go to fewer options and we'll say OK to insert our first drawing views. And there our views are inserted into the drawing. But there are other ways to get into the drawing environment as well. On the Ulibre home screen, another easy way to get into the drawing environment is to simply select Drawing right here. And this brings up the same menu that we've had before. If I click OK on this, we get the same menu as before. And then we're brought into a new drawing environment that has either our latest part or one that we can click on Browse and select a new part if we would like to have that. So those are the ways that we can create drawings in the Libre and some of the options that we have when initially making our views. There's a lot to go through in the upcoming videos. That's how we get into the drawing environment and work on views. However, there's a lot more views that we can make and we're gonna cover those in the coming videos. We'll see you then.